Um, I think, yeah, music, art, and culture have always been something that is, you know, important to me, um, something that uh, I care deeply about. Visual storytelling and my art practice didn't really start until about four years ago, completely, a lot by chance. Um, you know, there was a, a friend forwarded me an Instagram story from a New York Times photojournalist who had an extra camera and wanted to loan it to, to someone during the uprising here in Minneapolis. And so I reached out to them, had a quick phone conversation, met them at George Floyd Square like 15 minutes later, and then just started using that camera on a daily basis to document everything that I saw. A lot of the media narratives coming out of the uprising were very top down, top down instead of bottom up. Um, and I'm really drawn to human stories that come from the bottom up. Um, I feel, you know, it often provides context of like why, what, what created this moment and why people are out here. I spend a lot of time building relationships um, with frontline activists in the Twin Cities, um, at George Ford Square, those who are working on immigration, climate change. Um, I didn't view it as a profession or work at the time, but for me it was how I showed up for community. Project Drawdown is the world's largest research for climate resource for climate solutions. Um, we have a team of climate scientists that have researched climate solutions we can start implementing today instead of waiting for the future. And so a lot of my work for, for Drawdown is helping produce a series called Drawdown's Neighborhood. We go to different cities in the U.S. and speak to people about the climate solutions that they're working on. And our goal is also really to pass the mic to underrepresented voices when it comes to climate change. For me, I really love to show the interconnectedness between different social issues. Um, I think we have a lot of people in the world right now, including myself, who are demanding for a better world, demanding for change. Now, I think a world where, you know, uh, the idea of hunger is like a foreign concept people don't understand, you know, uh, yeah, what, what, what hunger is, um, you know, we're a place that everyone has affordable, easy access to uh, housing um, that they're proud of and that, that they want to be in. Um, access to healthcare um, that is low cost or affordable or free education. Um, and I think a world that's just, it's equitable. Um, I think we're, there's, there's far too much suffering in the world for the amount of wealth um, and innovation that exists. And so I think um, leveling out those, leveling out those uh, in disparities is, is one that I'm aiming for. Success is, you know, I feel like my success is a reflection of how my community views me. Um, and, you know, uh, being someone who's respected in the community, being creating work that people are excited to see, um, that is a reflection of stories within our communities here in Minnesota and elsewhere. It's about continuing to do things that I'm curious about that make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched it. Yeah, I just uh, kind of thought it was interesting. It was like, uh, the shadows, the lighting, also just viewing the tree from a really kind of weird perspective um, that captures more than one tree. Mm. Some of it in shadow and some of it in light. Um, 